hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is lauren today's video is a whole house clean with me so you will be getting a ton of cleaning motivation i'm also sharing with you some recipes and doing a little bit of organizing around my house we have a lot to get done today so let's jump right in The first thing that I'm going to do is tidy up in the kitchen, get some dishes in the dishwasher from breakfast, and then I went ahead and started it. Usually I do start the dishwasher at night before bed, but by some miracle we didn't have a full dishwasher at the end of the day, so I just waited until it was a little fuller today. And I also just want to say I appreciate you so much for watching today's video. If you are new, I love for you to subscribe and join this community, and if you're cleaning with me today and find all of the motivation you're looking for, whether that's just tackling one room or the whole house give this video a thumbs up try this new recipe today for some overnight oats so I'm just starting by pouring these oats into the jars then I'm gonna add some strawberries Okay, so this is what makes it a little bit different. I'm gonna add this cheesecake jello to each of the jars. I'm thinking I'm adding about maybe a half a teaspoon, maybe a full teaspoon to each because these are not big jars. And then we will go from there. I've never tried this recipe before, so I will let you guys know how it turns out. And once I add this, I'm just going to refrigerate these overnight. The kitchen overall was pretty clean, but whether or not it looks clean, I always go in and wipe down the counters. With our granite, you can barely tell if crumbs are on it, if there's spills. They hide so well with this color, so I find that running my hands over it just to make sure everything is picked up is the true test. Today, I'm using the Method Granite Spray. I am really trying my hardest to get through this bottle, but it does seem never ending, and for some reason, it makes me cough. I don't know if anyone else has this issue. With a lot of the Method products, they make me cough so it must be something that's in it but I hate to waste things so I'm just gonna stick it out and get through this bottle I will also switch between the jaws kitchen degreaser which I love and some antibacterial wipes right after I finish cleaning out the sink and finishing the dishes Oh, 
I'm lighting this DW candle in a mango scent. It's perfect for summer and I love to light candles when I'm cleaning. And then I'm moving into the next room. For the living room surfaces, I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner. The main thing that I love about this cleaner is that it's streak free. I have used it on so many different surfaces. You will see in a second, I use it on a wood table in the dining room. It says on the bottle it's safe to use on a ton of different areas, granite, stainless steel, glass of course, which is so nice so you don't have to switch between a ton of different cleaners. It never leaves behind a residue and I know those of you who have tried it say you love it just as much as I do. I'm then going to fluff up the pillows and put things back where they belong. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I want to dry up but too Just keep on going don't you I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. As I was putting back this white pillow, I noticed that there was hair all over it. Joe just came back from a haircut, so I guess all the hair ended up on here. I'm just using a lint roller to get that up. And then I have a few more things that I want to tackle in here before moving on. price I want to pay and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn this ship around. We can turn this ship around all the way back home. Chasing all that
before heading upstairs, I'm just going over all the floors to vacuum. Our floors are so dark that any dust or speck shows, so I try to do this at least once a day. I wouldn't change hardwood for carpet, however, I do miss vacuum lines on the floors. That's why I vacuum my couch all the time, just to get those lines in. There's just nothing better. I'm curious to know if you guys prefer hardwood or carpet, what you have in your homes. And as I watch this back, I'm looking at Mason on the couch, unbothered by the vacuum. He turned 10 this year, and as he has gotten older, he could just care less about certain things the vacuum being one of them he used to run around when the vacuum came out but not anymore sleep is too important I wanted to get this load of laundry running to multitask a little bit. I'm using the Purcell laundry detergent. I've been using this one for years and I love it. And while I'm by the washer, a few weeks ago in my deep cleaning video, I shared how the middle softener cup came out so you can clean it easier. I will link that video down below if you're interested, but I was amazed to see how many of you were not aware of this. That's what's so great about cleaning videos. Everyone has their own routine or way of doing things and you can take ideas from other people, add them into your routine or share techniques techniques or products that make life easier for you. Either way, I have learned a lot from you guys too. I always love to hear your recommendations and just how you do things in your home. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the rematch. This suitcase has been sitting there for a few days. I always take out the dirty clothes as soon as we get back from a trip, but the rest, I just leave it until I need it basically. So I'm just emptying that now. And then I'm going to work on my dresser. These two drawers have really gone downhill in the last few weeks and I have been needing to organize them but haven't gotten around to it. So I took the opportunity today to go through them. I don't know why I put it off because it really only takes a few minutes and the end result is a thousand times better. So let this be a reminder if you have a draw that you have been neglecting, just take a few minutes to get it done. I'm just starting by emptying the drawers and going through each of the items. I'm a pajama lover. It's always hard for me to get rid of them, especially t-shirts that you buy on vacations and stuff like that. I have a weird connection to them, but today I decided I had to let some go. Phone is ringing, always at a bad time, every time you flash your name. Always leaving, then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame Every time you flash your name 
always leaving Then you got me chasing You like I'm the one to blame I'm going to show you a before clip to remind you of what the drawers look like and then an after so you can really see the transformation. I've been slamming the door and just leave you cold. When I come back, you feed it up the south pole. You see my body rush for the escape. Oh, my heart. The last straw for today is the one I keep all my sweatpants and leggings in. As you saw, I could barely open it. It's way too crowded, so I knew I needed a second drawer to be able to fit everything. I had a pillow taking up space in the drawer below it. Don't ask me why. So now I can separate the two to make everything much more organized. And I'm just dividing everything up by color and what type of style pant they are. This is the quickest clean in my bathroom. I'm putting away all of these travel size products I had left out from our trip and then I'm using the Clorox wipes to disinfect the counters. We will then get into the two recipes that I included in today's video. The first recipe is a buffalo chicken burger that I found on Pinterest. You will start with one pound of ground chicken, half a packet of the ranch seasoning mix, buffalo sauce just measured to your liking, and then some panko breadcrumbs. I would typically grill these burgers, but it was raining this day, so I just popped them into the oven, and then I topped with some blue cheese. Joe used ranch on his. You can really do so many different things with this. Top it with onions, lettuce, tomato, anything you like. 
The next recipe is ranch roasted Brussels sprouts. This is such a good side. You're just gonna start with some olive oil and mixing together the seasonings. Three teaspoons of ranch seasoning. I'm just gonna use the rest of this packet that I already had open. One teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of pepper. Some red pepper flakes. All right, so I'm adding my clean Brussels sprouts to this pan. And then I mixed everything together. I'm gonna put that over the Brussels sprouts. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you got a ton of cleaning motivation from it. If you did, please consider subscribing if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you back here in a few days. Bye.